haul. I'll start off with the fairly boring stuff. So I have uh, a laptop that's about 15 years old and I picked up an old D-Link Air Plus card. It allows me to get onto Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know if it's supported by my Wi-Fi network but it was a couple of quid so I figured it would be worth trying out. Uh, I got one of these for the Dreamcast. I don't have one. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to use it just yet. However, I'll, I'll give it a go. I only just got my Dreamcast a couple of weeks ago, so I'm uh, breaking it in, seeing what it does and all that kind of stuff. But one of these seems to be a fairly sensible little addition to it. Looks kind of funky. Might take it on the train with me. So a fly investigating it. Uh, a couple of pickups for the game here. Uh, first up is a game, a classic game at that. Uh, Prince of Persia. Might be one of the better games on, on the Game Gear, I think. Um, I, I do like the Prince of Persia game, might be worth collecting on most platforms. But I happen to notice this, which will fit on the Game Gear, and it's a Game Gear magnifier. Super wide gear, it's called. And essentially, you just flip that in like that, flip that over, to aim it on the screen, and you can see whatever game it is you're playing. I don't have any batteries in them at the moment which is good of me to be so prepared for these videos, but uh, we'll see what it's like. I might even try and do some videoing through it. There's some dust there. Hopefully that's on both sides of the magnifying glass, and not inside the magnifying glass, but uh, yeah. And we're missing the bolt. I'll have to try and find one of those bolts, because I've got a Master Gear converter as well, which doesn't sit in right. Uh, a pickup for the Dreamcast as well. Headhunter. It's a one of those games that some people say is absolutely fantastic but I've never heard of before so I figured I'd I'd give it a go looks, um, looks a wee bit like one of those spec op games maybe or well Grand Theft Auto or something who knows who knows we'll have a play try and get some gaming footage on the go see what it's like hardware we got I have a turbo graphics but uh, I decided to pick up a PC engine uh, it doesn't come with any cables or anything, so I'll have to source those elsewhere. But uh, it looks fairly clean. Uh, it's, it's really small. It was about the same size as something else I'm about to show you that makes things different for a game. Right, uh, so uh, hopefully that'll be able to play some of the other games that I have that don't actually work on the Turbo Graphics. Uh, next up is this. It's been a long time since I've. Uh, I had one of these. I have a, a Game Boy Advance, so I got myself an original Game Boy. And it comes with a bunch of stuff. I guess most notably is this, which is the same size as this, roughly. Put the two together. A little bit thicker on the old uh, PC Engine front, but still kind of nice. I didn't actually realise this was in the bundle, I didn't buy the bundle for this, but uh, whenever I opened it up I found that there and thought, fantastic. We got a power supply, always handy. We got a magnifier, which turns the uh, 2 inch screen into 3 inch screen. There it is, low, low. Yep. Uh, the Game Boy itself, which has a bit of a problem in that this pops out quite easily, so I'll have to find some adhesive and get that stuck back on and gives me an opportunity to remove some of the dust that's in there, but uh, looks fairly clean. There's a few marks here and there, but seem worse. Seem worse. And games wise it came with a bunch of games. We have FIFA 96, the obligatory Tetris, Millions Secret Castle, I'm not familiar with this game at all, looks a wee bit of a mixture between Zelda and Mario, Dr. Frankenstein 2, Galag Galaxian, Donkey Kong, Killer Instinct, Super Mario Land, Dr. Mario, I don't actually think I have that, 
Wario Land and Donkey Kong Land. So a lot of games with land in the title. Excellent. And a bag to keep it all in, to keep it keep it dust free. Oh, there's something in the front. <laughs> Wait, I didn't not realize it had this is. We have a poster. Advertising many of things. Manual for FIFA. Killer Instinct. Frankenstein 2. Or Dr. Franken 2. Mario Land. Million Secret Castle. Where's that Hudson slot? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Land. Wario Land. Dr. Mario. Same as the last one. one. Must have been included in boxes whenever they they were issued. FIFA 96 poster. Poster of nothing on the back. Oh, this looks nice. Game Boy poster. Probably common as much, but uh, I quite like it. Gala Galaxian instructions. Gala Galaxian. Instruction booklet. Instruction insert. Ah, this must be a quick guide then. How to play a very simple game in a couple of easy steps. Ah, that's handy. That's how to play it on your Super Game Boy. Right, okay. Another Game Boy poster. Nicely retro. I really like that actually. That's, that's kind of nice. Nothing on the back. And finally, Donkey Kong instruction booklet for the Super Game Boy. Huh. Swish. Very swish. Now last up, it was an absolute bargain that I couldn't turn down. It's a bit hefty. I'll just move those gracefully over there. A game station. But it comes with innards. We have a PlayStation 1 inside it. Three quid. We have a PlayStation 1 controller. Nice condition. A PlayStation 1. Oh, it's got a game in it. Monsters Inc. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never actually had one of these before. They're quite nice. That'll go in quite nicely. Replace the original PlayStation. Because it's a bit hefty. It means I can fit more in under the TV. Power supply. Scart cable. And I, I quite liked it because of this. Uh, <laughs> this little drawer device. It's kind of funky. By logic three of all. Right, well, that's the haul for this week. We'll catch up with you next week.